Hello everyone, I'm here with an experimental post today, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, where I've been trying different bases with um, holographic pigments and flakies and chrome powders for use with regular nail polish. And I now do believe that I have come up with the perfect way to use these powders and pigments with regular polish and one very special polish that I have been experimenting with that I think will shock all of you. It's not water based, although you will need one to protect it so it doesn't pixelate when you top coat it. I have a selection of nails painted. Um, as you can see I'm holding this pink one. I've already applied this polish to this one. Um, I have a selection of pigments and powders in front of me from Beauty Big Bang and Born Pretty Store and I'm going to try this in real time so you can see exactly what polish I'm using, what pigments and powders I'm using, how long I wait before I start applying it, how I apply it and I what should imagine you all want to know what this mystery polish is. Believe it or not, it is Model's Own Base Coat. This is a rubberized base coat and it leaves a rubbery feel um, for obviously polish to grip onto it as you use it as a base. And when I heard that it had a rubberized feel to it once it was dry, and it is pretty quick drying, I really wanted to see if that rubberized texture would help the powder to grip to it. And my results have been pretty amazing, although I haven't tried all the powders I have in front of me, and that is why I was doing this video today. So I'll just get everything prepared, and I'll be back and show you. And this now already has it on, so this will be the first one that I do with some unicorn pigment from Born Pretty. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so we're back. I've zoomed in a little bit so you can see. So the first one I'm going to do is this pink now with, if I can take the lid off, this unicorn powder. And with the nail, dip into the powder, pat onto the nails first. No doubt you can see the pigment flying everywhere. And then gently getting more powder on the brush. I'm wiping over. I'm not pushing too hard because obviously I don't want to dent the polish. You can see how well. That has stuck. To the rubberized finish of the model's own base coat and then very gently I just dip my finger with a late glove on, pick some pigment up and gently burnish that into the nail too. And now one unicorn now over pink regular polish with the model's own base coat. And now we're going to make a mess because we're going to be doing all the others. So now you can see actually what I do. Um, what I'm going to do now, and I don't want to bore you all with the waiting time, but I know people are going to wonder actually how long you do need to wait before you can start placing the pigment on top of a nail, uh, on the polish, sorry. So let's move that one out of the way and we'll get a clean piece of tissue for a new little sparkle, although they're all over my glove. Uh, so here we have a black nail that's already dried. As I said, I don't want to bore you, but just so you can see how long the waiting time is, and I'm not going to speed the video up, I'm going to apply the model's own rubberized base coat to the top of this nail. And 
and now we're just going to sit here and as the saying goes watch paint dry um, the next pigment I'm going to use rather than just sitting here with no sound and no music and no talking I'm going to use a Beauty Big Bang if I can just get that let's put that down carefully this is going to be fun with these gloves on excuse the little half cotton buds that I've attached these nails to I'm going to use these chameleon chameleon flakies did you see that I fly out from Beauty Big Bang as I said I haven't tried all of these powders with this polish so I'm not in entirely sure if they all will work I knew the unicorn one would because I did try that yesterday and as you can see the result I mean even now I could still possibly burnish that and make that smoother I haven't actually tried putting the base coat over as another top coat so I don't know if that will pixelate it. I was still using a water-based top coat and then my regular fast dry top coat so it didn't pixelate the look. But that is just so stunning. And I'll take photos with each of the powders at the end. see we're still waiting for this one to dry so you actually now can see in real time how long I am waiting before I apply this pigment see when I opened that some of that I don't know if you can see there's a little blue fleck on that one right there as I opened the pigment it just blew everywhere you've got to be very careful not to cough or sneeze when you open these pigments oh and maybe using cotton buds to stick fake nails to wasn't the brightest idea in the world so there's our pigment and here is our nail and that's it now we're going to start the application the same as before dipping patting Try to cover all the nail first and then gently burnish it and smooth it all over the nail. Yeah, please excuse my cat. She's meowing because she wants to go out and I closed the door. again just gently rub over with my finger this time I didn't dip it into the flakies to add any extra and there we go just look at the rainbow spark on that absolutely perfect application and it looks so smooth right, I'm just gonna let my cat out because she's gonna drive you all mad and we'll come back and do the next okay we're back and the next one I'm going to do now is the chrome, silver chrome from Bomb Pretty I've already gone and applied the rubberized base coat to this now one thing I will say although this does work I did find with one pigment that I did try yesterday that when I painted all of my nails and waited the time and it dried and I started with my little nail the um, 
by the time I got to my index finger, the rubbery texture did seem to have disappeared. So, I th although this does work and it does work well, um, you may have to delay in painting nails before you apply this and paint, say like two, your pinky and your ring, and then apply the before you apply the pigment, paint your rubber two, so this can be drying while you're applying the pigment to the other nails, if that makes sense. It does in my brain. And you can see how well this chrome is covered. And to burnish in again without dipping into any more pigment, I'm just going to be using the glove on my finger. Okay, it does give a nice silver effect. You might not get the smoothest of chrome. Actual look. For an actual silver nail, that is pretty stunning. And as I said, this video was only a test to see exactly what and how each powder and different pigment did work over the nail. But I think if I was to burnish that a bit more as the polish dries, I'd possibly get a smoother, more mirror-like chrome finish. So we're going to put this one away and I've got three more left to do which are two holographic powders and we're just going to get straight on and do those. I am only applying a gentle pressure when I rub because obviously although the polish is got a rubbery, rubbery tacurized feel to it it's obviously not going to be totally dry and I could end up denting it with that for regular polish is just one amazing coverage Who said playing with glitter wasn't fun? Another one that doesn't want to come off. can also see, I mean, as I'm patting the polish, uh, the powder on, I am rubbing, but I think it's, I found it's easier to just pat polish all over, and then once, the, uh, sorry, the pigment all over, and then once it's on the nail, you can rub it to spread it, even it out, and burnish it in. I'm yet to try a silicone tool while burnishing. That is one thing I will look into trying. You can just see how quick and easy that is. How well that sticks. The coverage, the actual finish. So if you like these pigments, but feel disheartened because you can't or don't want to go into the world of gel, you don't have to be left out. 
and finally the last one and I do apologize for this video dragging on but I just wanted you to see all the live real-time application and my lovely new sparkly gloves this one is a uh, chrome from Born Pretty so As you can see that one, I can just rub that straight onto the nail. As I say, it's when I stopped to let my cat out, I quickly applied the model's own base coat to these. So this video didn't have to drag on even longer and waiting time of each now. I just wanted to do it on the one. So you can see the average waiting time. Oh my god that is absolutely amazing don't know how well that's picking up on the camera but I'm getting the most gorgeous purple sheen from that and it's another one like the chrome that I could possibly rub and burnish a bit more as the polish starts to dry a bit more and get a complete smooth chrome finish so there we go that was my trick to what polish I was using to apply the pigment to all of these and I think I'm going to go off camera so we're just moving a bit and excuse the pigment on that tissue there while I place these and that's the trick model zone rubberized base coat I really hope you found this helpful and um, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and comment below if you've got any questions and I'll try my best to help. Please subscribe to me if you haven't. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. You take care now. Bye.